In this video, we will discuss about the concept of perfectly balanced binary tree. Okay, a tree is said to be a perfectly balanced binary tree if it meets two conditions. The first one, all the nodes except the leaf node or the leaf nodes should have two children and the second thing is all the leaf nodes will be at the same level now let's take an example for a such a tree so imagine that I have a node here and this is actually perfectly balanced because it has only one node that node is itself uh, the node is uh, itself a leaf node and suppose that if I insert a node at this point so this is not a uh, perfectly balanced binary tree because it has only one node for the root so that is not acceptable and if i add one more node at the right side this is actually a perfectly balanced binary tree because the root has two children and all the other this node and this node are leaf nodes so it doesn't need any children then all those all those two nodes are at the same level but suppose that if i add two nodes at this point and this is not a binary uh, perfectly balanced search, binary search tree because this particular node does not have a, any children and or in other words uh, this particular node uh, and these leaf nodes are not at the same level so i can make this one perfect if i add two child in this level also now what is the importance of such a structure now if you want to understand that we have to consider the total number of nodes in a perfectly balanced binary tree so here in this case this particular level will have two raised to zero equal to one node and this particular level will have two raised to one equal to two nodes here we will have two raised to two equal to four nodes and this will continue on and on at the end and the last level will have two raised to h nodes we do not know the exact number of nodes in the tree so we will calculate or we will derive an equation for this h for a given value of n okay so suppose that all the no total number of nodes n is equal to it is actually the sum of nodes at every level so 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus that is i am adding 1 2 and 4 okay 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus etc plus the last one is 2 raised to h that is this one okay now this is equal to 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 2 to 2 plus 2 raised to 3 plus etc plus 2 raised to h and this is equal to 2 raised to h plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 that is equal to 2 raised to h plus 1 minus 1. Now, if you are interested to find the value of h here, then we have the equation that we just derived n is equal to 2 raised to h plus 1 minus 1. And if we take the logarithm on both sides with respect to the base 2, then this will be log. Uh, before that, I am taking that. 1 to the left side so I can write n plus 1 equal to 2 raised to h plus 1 so this will be log n plus 1 equal to 2 raised to h plus 1 sorry the log of 2 raised to h plus 1 to the base 2 so this is equal to n plus 1 log n plus 1 equal to what is it 
law equal to h plus 1 ok so we got the equation log n plus 1 is equal to h plus 1 or I can write h is equal to log n plus 1 minus 1 or I can write h is approximately equal to log n plus 1 or I can write approximately equal to log n so we found that the height of the tree is proportional to or equal to or the correctly it is proportional to the logarithm of the total number of nodes <coughs> excuse me so that has a very good impl implication on the structure of a tree suppose that if you have to insert assume that the number of nodes in a tree is equal to let's say 2 raised to 10 which is approximate which is equal to 1024 and if we insert these numbers suppose that I have 1024 elements sorted in a particular order so if you insert in this numbers in a normal binary search tree this will be the tree will be growing on and on so this is the first node and this will continue growing only in a particular direction or only in a right direction or in the left direction depends on the number of so the kind of sorting that we have done for the set of numbers now suppose that uh, let's say that last element is assume that the last element is uh, 1000 or 10000 now I want to search 10000 in this particular tree so what I will do is I will make comparison at this point this not 10000 this one not 10000 this one and I will have to search in the worst case 1024 numbers or I need to make 1024 comparisons and if you store the same data in a perfectly balanced search tree then you will have a root at this point and there will be numbers on the left side and the right side okay now the number of comparison that we need to make will be equal to the in the worst case it will be equal to the height of the tree suppose that your number is at this point let's say the thousand ten thousand is at this point so what you will do you will make a, you will come to this level you will make a comparison here so the number is not matching so you will go to the right side here the comparison you will make the comparison the number is not matching so and you will reach at this point you will make you are making the comparison so you are finding the number so what actually happening in this case is whenever you make a comparison at this point then you find that the 10,000 is greater than the value at this particular node then you are essentially discarding all the numbers in the left subtree which will be half of the total nodes in the uh, entire tree so in the worst case the number of comparison will that we need to make will be equal to the height of the balanced or the binary tree okay so if we have 1024 in the case of a linked list or in the case of a uh, skewed tree we will have to make 1024 comparison comparisons and if you have 1024 numbers 1024 numbers uh, stored in a balanced search tree then you will have to make only or uh, you will have to make only in this case 1024 is equal to 2 raised to 10 so so you will have to make only 10 comparisons so if you think about these numbers as seconds so suppose that one comparison take one second then a normal binary search tree or a lingual list will take 10,024 seconds and if it is a balanced search tree then it will be taking only 10 seconds so that is the advantage of um, balanced search tree so we will see this uh, 
in detail in the next videos thank you